वेलकम टू स्टडी सर्कल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड क्लास एट स्टैंडर्ड सिविक्स पार्लियामेंट चैप्टर थ्री पार्लियामेंट एंड लॉज दिस वीडियो इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर एस्टेट एंड सीटेट एंड दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सीटेट आल्सो इन द पार्लियामेंट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सिंबल ऑफ इंडियन डेमोक्रेसी एंड ए की फीचर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट एनेबल सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया टू पार्टिसिपेट इन डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड कंट्रोल द गवर्नमेंट नीड ऑफ द पीपल इन डिसीजन मेकिंग The take off point for democracy is the idea of consent that is the desire approval and participation of the people it is the decision of the people that creates democratic government and decides about its functioning the basic idea of democracy is that the individual or the citizen is the most important person and the government as well as other public institution need to have the trust of the citizen evolution of the idea of people participation in india under colonial rule people had lived in fear of the british government and did not agree with many of the decisions that they took this led the people of india to join the freedom struggle the nationalists began to openly criticize the british government and make demands in 1885 the indian national congress put demands for elected members in the legislature with a right to discuss the budget and ask questions the government of india act 1909 allowed for some elected representation but it did not allow for all adults to vote nor could people participate in decision making the dreams and aspiration of the freedom struggle inculcate the ideas of freedom equality and participation in decision making a government sensitive to people's need and demands finally the constitution of free india laid the principle of universal adult franchise that is that all adult citizen of the country have the right to vote people and their representatives individuals give approval to the government by way of elections people elect their representatives to the parliament which is made up of all representatives together one group from among these elected representatives forms the government the parliament controls and guides the government in this way people through their chosen representatives form the government and control it our parliament the parliament of india that is sansad is the supreme law making institution the parliament of india consists of the president and two houses the rajya sabha and the lok sabha once elected these candidates become members of parliaments <coughs> functions of the parliament to select the national government after the lok sabha elections a party wise list showing number of mps is prepared for a political party to form the government they must have a majority to elected mps since there are 400 543 elected members in lok sabha to have a majority a party should have at least half the number that is 272 members or more it is difficult for a single political party to get then different political parties to join to form government and is called coalition government opposition in parliament is formed by all the political parties that oppose the majority party coalition formed the largest among these parties is called the opposition party one of the most important function of the lok sabha is to select the executive which is a group of person who works together to implement the laws made by parliament this executive is often termed as government the prime minister of india is the leader of the ruling party in the lok sabha from the mps who belong to his or her party the prime minister selects ministers to work with him or her to implement decision these ministers then take charge of different areas of government functioning like health education finance etc to control guide and inform the government mps can elicit information about the working of the government by asking questions the government is alerted to its shortcomings and comes to know the opinion of the people through their representatives question hour is one such mechanism and the parliament while in session begins with it opposition parties highlight drawbacks in various policies and programs of the government and mobilize popular support for their own policies the parliament's approval is crucial for the government in all matters in dealing with finances a bill is required to pass through rajya sabha in order to become a law it therefore has an important role in reviewing and altering the or law was initiated by the lok sabha the rajya sabha can also initiate law make initiate legislation law making it is a significant function of the parliament parliament composition as a reflection of society parliament now has more people from different background as there are more members coming from the rural background and from the regional parties there has been an increase in political participation from the dalit and backward classes some seats are reserved in parliament for scs and sts similarly it is suggested to have a reservation of seats for women 60 years ago only 4% of mps were women and today it is just above 14% according to 2019 lok sabha 
Law is a system of rules created, created and enforced by a country or a community to regulate the behavior and action of its members. For example, specifying the age of marriage, buying and selling property etc. Our parliament is the body responsible for making laws. Applicability of laws. To check any arbitrary, arbitrary exercise of power, our constitution provides for the establishment of the rule of law, which means all laws apply equally to all citizens of the country and no one can be above the law, including any government official, wealthy person or even the president of India. The law cannot discriminate between person on the basis of religion, caste or gender. Any crime or violation of law is a specific person punishment as well as process through which the guilt of the person has to be established. Status of law before the independence of India In ancient India, there were innumerable and often overlapping local laws. Different communities enjoyed different degrees of autonomy in administrating these laws. In some cases, the punishment that two persons received for the same crime varied depending on their caste backgrounds. During colonial period, the system of law began to evolve during the colonial period, and it is often believed that British colonialists introduced the rule of law in India. However, this claim has been defeated by many historians because colonial laws were arbitrary, such as Sedition Act of 1870, Rollet Act of 1919. These laws Laws allowed British government to imprison people without due trial. Indian nationalists played a prominent role in the development of legal sphere in British India. Role of Indians in the evolution of rule of law during colonial period. Indian nationalists they began and protesting and criticizing the arbitrary use of authority by the British. They also began fighting for greater equality and wanted to change the idea of law from a set of rules that they are forced to obey to law as including ideas of justice. Legal professionals. By the end of the 19th century, they began emerging and demanded respects in colonial courts. They began to use law to defend the legal rights of Indians. Indian judges also began to play a great role in making decisions. After independence, the constitution served as the foundation on which our parliamentary representative began making laws for country. Every year, these representatives pass several news, new laws as well as amend the existing ones. Formation of laws. Role of parliament. The parliament has a prime role in making laws. There are many ways through which this takes place and it is often different group in society that raise their needs for particular law. An important role of parliament is to be sensitive to the problems faced by the people. Role of citizens. At, a very, at every stage of the law-making process, the voice of the citizen is a crucial element. The voice can be heard through TV reports, newspaper, editorials, radio, broadcast, etc. The role of citizen does not end with electing our representative. It is extent, involvement, and enthusiasm of the people that helps parliament perform its representative functions properly. Unpopular and controversial laws. Reasons. A law can be constitutionally valid and hence legal, but it can become unpopular and controversial if the people feel that intention behind it is unfair and harmful and deny accepting it. A law favors one group and disregards the other leading to controversy and con conflict. Remedy. People might criticize this law, hold public meetings, write about in on newspapers, report to the TV news channels, etc. When a large number of people begin to feel that wrong law has been passed, then there is a pressure on the parliament to change this. People who think that at law is not fair can approach to the court to decide on this issue. The court has the power to modify or cancel laws if it is fine that they do not adhere to the constitution. Some important facts from these chapters are EVMs. EVMs electronic voting machine were used throughout the country for the first time in the 2004 general elections. The use of EVMs in 2004 saved around 1,50,000 trees which would have been cut to produce about 8,000 tons of paper for printing the ballot papers. South Block and North Block of the Central Secretariat were built during 1930s. South Block houses of the Prime Minister office PMO, Ministry of Defense and Ministry of External Affairs. North Block has the Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Home Affairs. Rollet Act of 1919. It allowed the British government to imprison people without due trial. Despite the large number of protests, the Rollet Act came into effect on 10th March 1919. On April 10, in Punjab, two leaders of the movement, Dr. Satyapal and Dr. Saifuddin Kichlu, were arrested. To protest this arrest, a public meeting was held on 13 April at Jaliawala Bagh in Amritsar. General Dyer entered the park with his troops and ordered to fire. Several hundreds of people died in this gunfire and many more were wounded, including women and children. The incident is known as Jaliawala Bagh massacre. Domestic violence. 
it generally refers to the injury or harm or threat of injury or harm caused by an adult male usually the husband against his wife injury may be caused by physically beating up of the woman or by emotionally abusing her the protection of women from domestic violence act 2005 extends the misunderstanding of the term domestic to include all women who live or have lived together in a shared household with the male member who is perpetrating the violence citizen this applies to anything that the government might consider as stirring up resistance or rebellion against it sustainable development goal 5 include gender equality